Hey everybody, Proper Nurse One here. Today is June 30th. It is Tuesday, 2020, the last day of June. Freaking years gone by so fast already, it's unbelievable. So, sorry about no video yesterday. Um, it was an absolutely gorgeous day yesterday, and it was hot. And uh, I ended up getting together with a friend of mine, and I went riding and did absolutely nothing. And I did not get home until late. So, <laughs> Uh, I just kind of took a day, so that's, uh, but I wanted to show you, um, you know, kind of what you missed a little bit, uh, so these are going to be steps that, that Becky and Mike, uh, picked up. Mike got these steps, um, already built, he got it for 150 bucks, so, um, they're really good, I mean, obviously they got to be stained or painted one of the two, but, uh very nice and that's going to go on the front part here but that's going to work out really nice for them and uh so then he got let me show you what else he had picked up yesterday now i am not sure what they're doing with this to be honest with you <laughs> i have no idea because like i said i they uh they got all kinds of wood here um under here that he had picked up i don't even know what he paid for it but uh he got a deal on this wood uh, that's all under here. There's a quite a bit under there. Let's just. And there's quite a bit of wood under here, and uh, so I'm not sure what they're going to be using that for, but uh, we will see. <laughs> so I'm just like, hey, whatever. I just kind of, you know, that's that's their uh, their circus, not mine. So, but. Uh, so he, uh, I don't know if they're coming out today or not, but so today is obviously a little bit more overcast, but we've had, like I said, we've just had a nice, nice run of weather, and, uh, you know, yesterday I was just like, you know what, I am going to go have a, have a day, and uh, I did, it was very relaxing, it was really nice, I haven't watered yet today, i got to water the gardens, but, uh, I'm going to do that in a little while, but everything is just looking really, really good. I wanted to bring you over here and show you the uh, the yellow squash is just going crazy. We got uh, the blossoms are, are there. A lot of blossoms going on. Some more on this one. So, yeah, it's uh, it's going well. The, the garden looks fantastic. Uh, the peas are coming up nicely. That first row really didn't come up that well. I mean, it come, it's coming up a little bit more now. But, uh, so, peas are doing okay. Uh, like I said, the green beans are in the first two rows here. This is all radishes. So, now we've got all the blossoms over here. Um, you can see all the blossoms coming in and out on the uh, cantaloupe. So, that's awesome. Love cantaloupe. Cantaloupe is just so freaking good. Um, these are the cucumbers, obviously climbing the trellises really well, so that's what we wanted. And then obviously the tomatoes. Tomatoes are looking good. So, yeah, like I said, I just got to give these guys a drink. And then obviously we have the peppers and stuff here, so. But, uh, oh, my gnome got knocked over again. There we go. Alright, so, um... My firewood guy just came this morning and dropped off the next four face cord for me. Now, once I get these stacked, guys, I might be done. Uh, I'm going to have to see where I'm at, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure once I get this stacked in here, I think I'm going to be good. Uh, that'll give me 26 face cord in the woodshed. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, there's, this will... So this is going to be, actually today, this is going to be my project. I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to work on this. But I wanted to get a video going um, this morning and get it up for you guys. So I will do another video later in the day. But this is going to be my project today. I want to get this stacked. Uh, I know there's some rain coming up in the forecast, so I want to get this in and out of the weather. So that's exactly what I'm going to work on today. And uh, so that'll be today's project. But uh, So once I get that in here... I'm going to kind of evaluate 
and see how much room I have left and if see if I have enough room to do four more. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. But if I give 26 face cord in here, um, again, more than enough wood for more than two years. So, you know, that's, uh, that was the game plan is get as much in here as I can. And so we'll see. Um, you know, we'll see how it all pans out. But uh, we'll, if, if I can get, I'm, I'll tell you right now, if I can get this four face cord stacked up pretty quickly in, in this area, because you got to remember too, as we're going higher here, the angle's higher. I can go like, you know, that roll was to there because of that. I can go up another, you know, get a couple more levels of wood on this next level. So, uh, you know, I can get a lot more wood in here. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, I'm going to get this four phase cord stacked and then I'm going to, like I said, I'll evaluate it at that point. Uh, past this point, maybe another four phase cord. I don't know. So, we'll have to see. Uh, once this is all stacked up, but uh, so that is my game plan for today uh, Yesterday we ended up with uh, 11 eggs yesterday from the chickens and uh, so that was good and uh, I literally was out here at midnight uh, collecting eggs last night <laughs> So I'm like, okay, we got to get the eggs and uh, so Heather and I came out and collected the eggs. But uh, like I said, I had a freaking great day. Uh, put a lot of miles on the bike yesterday. So I'm going to tell you why. Where I live out here, guys, is absolutely just beautiful, gorgeous scenery. I mean, uh, it, it's just all green. It's a lot of hills. And uh, it's just awesome for riding. I mean, city riding and country riding is, is a two totally different animals. And, uh, you know, you have to worry about the wildlife realistically. Like, okay, so here's something really cool that happened yesterday. So when I was leaving to go out to ride, uh, I pull out of, I go down the road here, out to the main road, and I started down the main road, and there was a mother deer with her two fawns. She had two fawns. And, uh... They were right there, standing right in the road. So I literally stopped the bike, uh, took a couple of pictures, and then they just took their time and went across and, and got off the road and, and went on their way. It was really, really cool. So, uh, you know, that's that's part of the beauty up here as well. Uh, you know, being able to see the wildlife and stuff like that. Uh, you know, on a bike, I don't want to see them too close. <laughs> so uh, I literally, on the way home last night, because I was coming home late, uh, I was coming up one of the roads, and uh, a deer basically, and I had plenty of time. He came out and was standing right in the road. I saw him coming out, so as soon as I saw him coming out, started slowing down, and he just stood there in the road. So I literally stopped the bike. I was standing, or, you know, standing there with the bike, and I'm like, you know, it's a, this makes a lot of sense, right? I was telling somebody else this. I, I stood there with the bike, and I'm like, come on, dude. And then when I said something, the deer finally walked off the other way. And I just kept going. But, you know, it was pretty funny. But it wasn't, not, there was no, you know, it wasn't like a close call or anything. But <clears throat> you always have to watch out. You always have to watch out for the deer. Because you just don't know, um, you know, where they're going to be at. Hey, buddy. Uh, so, like I said, I just, I, I had a really nice day yesterday. It was uh, really enjoyable. And uh, spent in good company, and that always helps as well. And uh, so that's that's what I was doing. So I, I got like I said, I got home so late, and I was like, yeah, I guess no video today. Because <laughs> the, the original gameplay, I didn't expect to be out as late as I was. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I figured I'd, I'd get home, be able to get a video up, you know. And uh, by the time, like I said, by the time I got home, it was like, what time? I'm trying to think was. 11:45 or something like that so it was late i was i got home late but uh like i said it was a good day it was enjoyable and uh you know just kind of chilling so uh today it's going to be back to work so i just uh, I, w I was waiting on this other four phase cord and get that done um then i'm going to get on with my next projects uh you know i've, I've taken a few a few days and uh kind of just chilled a little bit i kind of had to really 
decompress, if you will, because I was pushing pretty hard here for a while. And now they're starting to get warmer. Uh, you really got to figure out when you're going to do stuff and when you're not. Um, you know, when the sun is out full bore, it gets hot really quickly. And we have like high, high humidity up here too. I know, high, high. So, uh, you know, that's why I really try to push in the spring, doing things in the spring when it's cooler so that I can get them done. And then that way I'm not dying, trying to get things done and sweating like a pig. So, uh, you know, this time of year you slow down more. You still can do things, but you have to, you do it early or you do it late. So let's go in here real quick and we'll see where the solar's at today. So far I know it's early yet. Because it's only about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. Uh, yeah, we've already pulled in 0.9 on this one side. We've pulled in 0.5 on the other side. Uh, they're both bringing in okay power. Because again, it's overcast today. So this one's bringing on this side 465 watts. Uh, this side's only bringing in 255 watts. So the batteries are at 26.5 at the moment so you know that's where we're at with that so they're they'll be all charged up I'm not even worried about that right loose here's the other other boy yeah it's a good boy Lucy you're a good boy he's got a new scar on his face from fighting I'm not sure if that's from buddy or somebody else I'm not sure but uh, he's a small cat but he don't take no crap He's a good cat. I like him. So anyway, so that's where we're at, guys. Um, I'm going to get my butt moving and grooving here and get started. So I'm going to get this video up right away. And then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do another video later today. But uh, I just wanted to share with you, know, share with you that, uh, yes, I'm alive. <laughs> I just, like I said, I just, uh, I took a day. And uh, I had a freaking blast. I, I, I got to, I'm not going to lie. I, like I said, I... Anybody that doesn't ride will never truly understand. Uh, it is such a zen thing for me. Uh, it's such a, a nice way to decompress and not think about anything. You just focus on your ride, enjoy the ride, the smells, seeing everything, and, uh, and all that type of stuff. So it was a good day. All right? So anyway, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. And again, family is not always blood. Remember that. That's important too. Uh, also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, if you work at it methodically, things get done. Uh, and it is amazing how much can get done if you really put your mind to it. So it's... Uh, you know, it's up to you. Uh, whatever kind of effort you're willing to put into something, that's how things get done. All right? I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I will see you all later. I'll, like I said, I will definitely do a second video today. All right? Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.